Beginner's guide to Ayurvedic daily routine. You love Ayurveda and you want to begin your journey with Ayurveda but you have no idea where to begin. I am Dr. Rekha, I am a 4th generation Ayurvedic doctor and I am here to help you get you started with Ayurvedic routine. basic concept you need to understand when you think about Ayurveda is digestion. Ayurveda primarily believes in the power of digestion to heal diseases, to look good, to feel good and be your highest self. So every routine that Ayurveda describes primarily talks about how it can improve your digestion. So let's start one by one. The first and the most important routine that Ayurveda describes is to wake up early in the morning. Why is it important to wake up early in the morning? Because that is the natural vata kala where the body or the vata in the body helps to push your bowel movements down. So this time is ideally before sunrise, supposed to be known as Brahma Muhurta. If you can't wake up very very early, say 5 o'clock or 5.30 or 6 o'clock, try to wake up at least before sunrise or with sunrise so that you can start your day the Ayurvedic way. So now you have woken up early, what is the next thing to do? The next thing to do is brushing. Brushing has to be done with a very good toothpaste and this toothpaste has to be Ayurvedically compliant. And what makes a toothpaste Ayurvedically compliant? It will not have a sweet taste. Just imagine the number of brands that we have out there with all kinds of sweet taste, right? Ayurveda does not recommend sweet taste. Instead, it recommends these three tastes. Now that we have finished brushing, the next step is tongue scraping. Why is brushing and tongue scraping so important? Because as I said in the beginning, Ayurveda is all about digestion and how digestion can improve your health and to prevent diseases. Hence, brushing and tongue scraping is important because the digestion starts first in your mouth. Food that you have mixes with thailand, your salivary amylase, which is the enzyme that is present in the saliva. And there starts your first step of digestion. Hence, brushing and tongue scraping are important routines. Just open your tongue and then scrape. That's it. And what do you use for tongue scraping? You can use a copper tongue scraper or if you don't find copper, you can even use a steel tongue scraper. Never use a plastic tongue scraper. So you're done with waking up in the morning, brushing and tongue scraping. Now this is the time to do oil pulling. Oil pulling is holding oil in your mouth. And Ayurveda says the best oil to use for oil pulling is organic black sesame oil. You may have heard a zillion influencers and people telling you to use coconut oil. Even big brands advertising coconut oil for oil pulling. But don't use them. Always use organic black sesame oil or even hot water or sometimes even milk you can use for oil pulling. But organic sesame oil is the best for everybody. The next thing is drinking warm water. You can either use warm water or you can use water infused with herbs. Now the most important thing which is Abhyanga or oil massages and Ayurveda has immense love for oil massages not just because it is it helps in improving your longevity prevents health issues and also helps combat diseases but also because it is something very vital for any person to do to maintain good health and it is also an anti-aging practice so everybody no matter whether it's a small child, whether it is an old person, everybody should do Abhyanga or daily oil massages. On the days when you are extremely busy, then you can do a 2-3 to three minute Abhyanga. And on the days when you have really good time in your hand, then please do Abhyanga for at least 5-10 to 10 minutes. For more details on how to do Abhyanga, when to do Abhyanga, please go to this link. I have a very detailed video on it. Meanwhile, while you are doing Abhyanga, that means while you have oil on your body, if you just stand out in the sun, if you can, that will help you increase your vitamin D levels. That's why vitamin D is called a sunshine vitamin because no matter how much you try to 
get vitamin D from your food unless and until you get it directly from sunshine you may need to use other forms of supplements so after abhyanga if you do a little bit of sunshine if you expose yourself to a little bit of sunshine that will help you improve your vitamin D levels now after abhyanga what you should do you should move all your joints just like how machines work better when we apply lubricants and oils in the same way our body and our joints can work beautifully well when it is applied with oil that gives it flexibility you know you have seen people who have done yoga for the longest time and if you look at them they don't look aged at all even at 60 or 70 they look very young and how is this possible your youth is a lot related to your flexibility of your bones and your muscles and your joints for improving that flexibility what can really help you is some movements and the movements of the joints right after a yoga so these two a very very important part of morning routine now that you have done abhyanga really well and you have moved all your joints now you can proceed to the next step which is having a warm shower warm shower is ideal for the body while you can use normal room temperature water for your hair because you can never let hot water fall on your head and your scalp and your hair why because that will lead to hair loss and hair fall and head is is an area which you need to keep cold not warm hence you should do cold water shower or normal temperature room temperature water shower for your head and warm water shower for your body congratulations we have almost reached the end of our morning routine and we'll finish the morning routine with a warm nourishing cooked freshly cooked breakfast that's about your morning routine please follow these and let me know in the comments if you have any questions i'm more than happy to answer all of them and if you would like to have personal one on one sessions with me you can always call on this number and most importantly please like and subscribe to my channel because we are going to learn a lot about ayurveda in the coming sessions Thank you for watching. Thank you so much.